but uh, we are going to be looking at some big heat coming back into that forecast. So let's go ahead and get you ready to go here. If you're off from work today, we'll get you all set up here as we head through the next couple of days. We'll take you out to Walnut Creek and who knows, maybe you're headed to downtown to squeeze in one last maybe dinner outside at your favorite restaurant. Again, temperatures are comfortable. Shorts, t-shirt, flip-flops, those are even okay over the next couple of hours. We have 84 degrees right now. We're holding on to the 80s through 6 p.m. 70s at 7, 7 p.m. and then we'll start to drop here to some 60s later on tonight. Now we're getting that colder ocean sea breeze moving in from that fog at the coast. It is super thick as you can see right now. Even some drizzle right at the immediate coastline. So we've got 59 right now it may fluctuate back up to 61 here as we continue through this hour. But then as we head through 6, 7, 8 o'clock, those 50s stay put and also that fog. So let's take a look at tomorrow morning and you can see it's going to be pretty thick and widespread here uh, through the North Bay. Also at the immediate coastline, a little bit of this green here. That's drizzle that we could see again in our beaches through tomorrow, even into San Francisco and some of those clouds early on down towards San Jose. Now we'll get that sunshine as we roll through tomorrow afternoon away from our beaches and overall I think it's going to set us up with a pretty good day. So we're going to start it off on the cool side. Might need a jacket to begin if you're up around six or seven o'clock. Got to get out the door back to work. I know it always hurts after a vacation, but uh, you can see we got 56 here for the South Bay, Tri-Valley 54, Peninsula 57. Right over through the East Bay, 56, San Francisco 55, and the North Bay at 51. Daytime highs tomorrow, again, staying pretty steady. No big extremes. So I think overall this really puts us into the comfortable category down here into San Jose, especially with 78 degrees, a little bit warmer away from the bay there, Morgan Hill 85. Right through the East Bay, lots of 80s. My warmest here in Antioch at 88, Walnut Creek 81. Then in Oakland, you're right near that cold ocean breeze and you'll be at 69. The Peninsula 72 in Redwood City, San Francisco. It's going to be chilly, 50s and 60s. Winds out of the west at 20 and through the North Bay, 77 in Santa Rosa, 79 in Napa. So all good through tomorrow, but then we do got some big heat coming our way once we hit Thursday's forecast. This area high pressure starts to build in and temps are going to increase. Now some subtle changes in San Francisco, 70s, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, also into Sunday and across the inland valley. So it's going to get a lot hotter, 98 by Thursday. Hold with those upper 90s all the way through Sunday's forecast and then gradually we'll start to drop off as we uh, head into next week's forecast. So yeah, very hot weather moving in. Fire danger is going to be high, but at this point it doesn't look like that 106, 107 we had about three weeks ago. So a, a little sigh of relief there. We can handle that.